Hi, this is PC Roger, and welcome to this short video on the language bar and how to get rid of it in Windows XP. Now you can see down here on my taskbar, I have these little icons, and if you uh, hold the cursor over, it'll tell you it has to do with speech tools and microphone, things like that. And uh, you may or may not see all these if you uh, if you just have you know one or or two or three showing, you might not know exactly what it is. And you cannot even resize like I just did unless you make sure that the uh, lock the taskbar feature is unchecked. And I got there simply by right clicking on the taskbar and then uh, clicking on lock the taskbar to toggle it locked and unlocked. I like it unlocked and that gives me the ability to you know, resize things like this. Now this language bar has to do with you know speech tools, things like that. I absolutely know no one who uses it. Uh, that could be different for you. Maybe you do use it, and if you do, you know, leave it there, or at least you know now how to resize the bar. But if you want to free up some uh, valuable real estate here, then you want to know how to get rid of it. And there's two ways of doing it. One is to, if you can get over to this far right where it says options and click on that, you have a settings selection, and let's see if we can get up here and record it. Or it does have a uh, preferences section here with a button for language bar. And if you click on that, you can just uncheck, show the language bar on the desktop, hit OK, and then OK, and it's gone. Now, should you want to get it back, or if you want to have a different way of turning it off, you can go to the control panel, and this will be as long as you don't work in, say, a corporate environment where you do not have access to the control panel. If you click on Start and select Control Panel, here in Regional and Language Options, you get this dialog box here. And if you click on the Languages tab and then the Details button, you end up with that same uh, setting screen that I showed you just a moment ago. And again, you have the Language Bar uh, Preferences button here. And you can turn it back on or leave it off or, or turn it off if it's already on. But you might notice that uh, the language bar pops up when you install Internet Explorer 7 or when you do an update or something, it might come back. Microsoft has this way of, of repopulating your, your desktop with things that you don't want, uh, thinking that you might want them anytime you do an update. And uh, for a lot of people, as I say, everyone I know does not use the language bar, and it's just a waste of the taskbar real estate and something else down on the screen that you may or may not know what it is. That's all there is to this short video on the language bar and how to get rid of it from your taskbar, please come to my website, www.pcroger.com. I've got a lot more information, a lot of tips, videos, other things to help you with your computer and getting it to run the way you want it to run. Thanks for watching.